Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about how can we raise the exceptions in Python. So raising the exceptions. So normally in the previous sessions, we have discussed about uh, how can we handle the single exception as well as the multiple exceptions. So for that, we are writing some try block and accept block. So whenever the exception is raised immediately, the accept block will be get executed. So if there is any problem with the inputs or with the data, then exception will be automatically raised. But here we can raise the exception. Okay. So mainly we can use this raising exception in order to validate the inputs. In order to validate inputs. Right. So I will tell you the example. Let us take the zero division error, which we have seen in the previous session. So C is equal to A divided by B. So we are taking two different inputs, right? So before that, uh, before this expression, we are taking some A is equal to int of input, right? And similarly, B is equal to int of input. So we are taking two inputs and directly we are executing the expression. So A divided by B. And whenever the B is 0, then it will automatically raise the exceptions. But now we can use the keyword called raise in order to raise the exception. So based upon the condition, we can raise the exception, right? So before executing the C is equal to A divided by B, we can directly check. So if B is equal to is equal to 0, simply use a raise exception, raise the exception class. So here we need to write the exception class name, right? So what type of exception we need to raise? So here it is a zero division error. So in, in, in place of this exception class name, we need to write it as zero division error, right? Division error. That means we can validate the inputs. We can validate the inputs, right? So after taking the input, we can validate. Okay, if the condition fails automatically, if the condition is true, automatically we can raise the exception. For example, if you are taking marks of a student, so we know that the marks of a student should be greater than 0 and less than 100. And less than 100. So we need to check this condition. So if the input is violating this one, automatically we can raise the exception. So for that purpose to validate the inputs in our instructions, we can simply use the raise keyword, raise keyword to raise the exceptions. And whatever the exception is raised here, that will be handled in the accept block and remaining content is same. So whatever the exception is raised, that exception will be handled by the accept block. So the use of this raise means we can raise the exception. So previously, the interpreter will raise the exception, but here we can raise the exception if the given condition is true, right? So uh, let's see the a small example demonstrating this raise keyword, right? Let's move on to the interpreter. Hello friends. So just now we have seen the syntax of a raise keyword and uh, what is the purpose of using the raise. So in order to raise the exception by the user, we are going to use the raise keyword and uh, in order to validate the inputs, we'll use the raise. So I will demonstrate with an example. So let us take the same example, zero division error, which we have considered in the previous session. So first let us read the two variables. So int of input, and here write the request message, enter value for A, and write, take the second input. So int of input, enter value for B, right? now. Previously, we have written some try function and here we have written some expression a divided by b and we have written some p c and here we are writing some accept uh, accept block and here we are simply writing the exception, right? So exception raised. So this exception will be automatically raised whenever the exception is occurred. So if it will prompt for the two inputs, I will give 10 and 0. So obviously the denominator is 0. So whenever it 
the control executes this expression that is c is equal to a divided by b immediately the exception will be raised and that exception will be handled by this accept block so you can observe here exception raised but now before evaluating the value in the expression we can validate the inputs that means if b is equal to is equal to 0 immediately we can we can raise the exception so raise exception right raise the exception so sorry if you go zero automatically the exception will be raised and that exception will be handled by the accept block now you can also specify the type of exception that can be raised so here the type of exception is a zero division error so instead of writing the exception here we can mention zero division error so obviously the zero division error will be handled in this particular block so zero division error so if you execute this one zero division error we will get this one right exception based and here also you can pass the message so here i will write a divided divided by zero right and here you need to pass the well variable and you can print this e that means whatever the message we are sending here that message will be stored in e and if you print this e here so we'll get the same message so that means we can raise any exception so with without the exception name or with exception name. so if you are raising any exception without name simply use the exception keyword so exception class exception is the base class right exception as exception and here you need to write like this so you need to pass the exception as e so that whatever the exception is raised that will be stored in e and uh, if you print this one sorry uh, sorry so whatever the input here uh, we are giving that will be stored in e right see exception is raised so like this we can raise the exceptions whatever the exceptions so mainly the main purpose of using this raise keyword means in order to raise the exception by the user itself it depends upon the inputs so if if we want to stay, uh, consider one more example and i will close it so let us take the marks so you need to uh, read the marks okay and print the marks and see for marks i will take the variable marks is equal to int of input enter marks and we know that the marks should be greater than 0 greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to 100 so we need validate here so marks marks less than or equal to 0 or marks greater than or greater than 100 okay less than 0 and greater than 100 so if this condition true then we can raise the marks raise the exception we can raise the exception right so raise the exception here marks should be in between 0 and 100 right so here we can simply write oh, sorry we need to place them in a try block here okay we need to place them in a try block because whatever the exceptions raised in the try block itself then those exceptions will only be handled by the accept block so you can here we can write the accept so accept exception as e so if you print e automatically the message will be printed here displayed here see if the marks are 120 then marks should be in between 0 and 100 okay and here you can simply print uh, marks is equal to marks right see if it is a uh, hundred marks is equal to hundred and if marks are minus 10 the mark should be in between 0 and 100 if marks are 120 marks should be in between 0 and 100 if the marks are 99 the marks will be 99 right so we can validate the inputs and we can raise the exception right so this is the use of the keyword raise so hope you understood this one and if you are having any doubts regarding this raising a keyword feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much